Ferrari race here at Le Mans. The Swissman Jacques Corneau is in second place, but behind him comes a tremendous scrap for the lower leaderboard places. Rapico and Cornu over the brow of the hill, and here comes the charge of the light brigade. Absolutely neck and neck, wheel to wheel. Well, you've never seen anything like this at Hyde Park Corner. They finally saw themselves out, and there in the middle of that group, Tony Head and Alan Carter, two British boys in the middle of that pack. There is the race leader, Rapico, 26 years old, Terry Rapico on the Sonauto Yamaha. Behind him, Swiss Jacques Corneau, and there is the scrap for the lower leaderboard places. That's Jean-Francois Bolde on the Chevalier machine. Behind him, Frenchman Jean-Louis Tonard, then Didier Duradigues, and in the middle of that scrap still Alan Carter, but this is the race leader. A little wiggle there on the back end as he comes out of the tight right-hander onto the straight, and there is Alan Carter. Alan Carter now beginning to carve his way up through the field, side by side with Jean-Louis Tonard, and Tonard will not give an inch. Tonard goes across the front wheel, well, Jean-Louis Tenard is the reigning 250cc world champion and he's not going to let an 18-year-old British boy have all his own way. There, though, is the race leader, Terry Rapico. And here is the scrap behind. And Jean-Louis Tenard is trying to find a way through on the inside of Cornu. He does, goes into second place. It's Tenard second, Cornu third, and Alan Carter now in fourth position. Alan Carter looks for a chance to go through on the inside of Cornu. Will he do it as they peel off for the left-hand bend? I don't think so, no. Cornu holds on. There is Tonard, in now in second place. Rapico still ahead of this group. There is Tonard, and Alan Carter is trying to go round the outside of a man as experienced as Jacques Cornu. Well, that's amazing. Tonard in second place. Cornu is third. Alan Carter is fourth. And Carter looks as though he's trying to find a way past. Out onto the start and finish straight yet again. And Alan Carter goes through between Cornu and the Armco barrier. A very brave move and a move that's going to give him third place. Or does it? Yes, it does. Alan Carter goes through into third place. Well, what a tremendous ride by this 18-year-old Halifax boy. 31st place on the starting grid. And that's the gap between the race leader and the rest of the pack. Tonard, Jean-Louis Tonard, the reigning 250 world champion, there in second place. And Alan Carter's right on his tail. There is Tonard, Tonard, and Tonard is down. Jean-Louis Tonard takes a tumble, he's perfectly okay. But Jean-Louis Tonard goes down, and Alan Carter now is up into second place in only his second world championship ride. And Jean-Louis Tonard, well, he'll be regretting that bitterly. The man who won the title last year, the post office worker from Clement Ferrand. And there you can see the back end of the bike just slide away from him. And Alan Carter does very well indeed to avoid going down as well. When you see somebody drop off in front of you, the like reaction is to make a sudden move, go for the brake. And Carter successfully avoids the debris. And now he's charging. He's levelling, getting closer to Rapico, the race leader. Behind it's Cornu in third place and Didier de Radigues in fourth spot. There is Rapico, the race leader. Terry Rapico, 26. And there is Alan Carter. Alan Carter has closed the gap. Absolutely sensational. Rapico and Carter is just amazing. Alan Carter goes through to take the lead. 18-year-old Alan Carter from Halifax, Yorkshire, the younger brother of Kenny Carter, the speedway rider, son of Mal Carter, a man who's put so much money, time and effort. And there is Alan Carter leading the 250cc race at the French Grand Prix in only his second world championship outing. And he's looking good. Problems with the bike in practice made him qualify in 31st place. There is Jacques Cornu now up into second place ahead of Rapico. It looks as though Rapico's got a problem. The chequered flag goes out. Alan Carter has won the 250cc race at the French Grand Prix. The youngest rider in the history of the sport to win a world championship race. In second place was Jacques Cornu, and Alan Carter looks delighted. Third was Terry Rapico. Fourth, Didier Radigues and fifth Tony Head. Well, what a great performance there from Alan Carter. <laughs> Remarkable. A stunning win for Alan Carter, carving his way through the field to a memorable first Grand Prix success. And last night, he and his brother Kenny were guests of Yorkshire Television's calendar programme.